All right, so what's good, y'all? Um, I didn't even really get a chance to... I like to usually put down some notes about what it is I want to share with you all, but I didn't have a chance to do that today. But um, I still wanted to hit you all with this before the day was up. And I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about confidence. Now, one of the things that I realized about confidence, if we, if we, if we go back to that story that we were talking about with David and Goliath, you know, I, I want to use that to paint the picture. But if we're talking about confidence, if you notice, David was confident when the Goliath came, right? Um, and we're not talking about transferable skills right now. Transferable skills is one thing, right? So think about that in your employment. But now think about confidence in whatever employment you're going after. So David, when the Goliath came, David was very confident in going up against the Goliath. When you hear the language that he's using when people start doubting him, his brother doubts him, his and his king doubts him, um, to the point where they're like, yo, like, like, how are you going to make this happen? And he's like, yo, I, I'm confident in going up against the Goliath because of the past experiences that have proved where I've proved myself, right? And so sometimes the question is asked, how do you develop confidence? Where do you get confidence from? And sometimes... Uh, many people fall into the trap of thinking that confidence is something that you have to train your mind uh, for. Confidence is something that you have to trick yourself into thinking about, right? Um, and what I would say is really con confidence is all about your preparation. Confidence, is, confidence comes from knowing that you have been prepared for the moment at hand. Not and, and, and not just prepared, but overly prepared for the moment at hand. So when, when I think about um, David going up against Goliath, David was confident because he had gone up in, in his mundane task of, of, of shepherding. He had gone up against lions and bears enough times that he was confident that if he saw a lion and bear again, he could take them out. And he had done it so much. He had defeated them so much that he was confident that if a Goliath, somebody like Goliath came across his path, across his path, that that those skills were sharp enough to take out the Goliath also because it was a similar kind of foe. All right. So. So how can we think about that in other spheres? So for those of you who enjoy sports, I often think about what is it that gives somebody like uh, LeBron James or Kevin Durant? Or Steph Curry putting up the three points that he puts up, him and Klay Thompson, right? What gives these guys the confidence to go out there and believe that they're going to make these things happen night after night? Because I know other people personally that play basketball and, and they're good at playing basketball. They know the game of basketball. But if they were to step into, uh, uh, if they were to step into the ring against Goliath, Right. And let's say if they were to go from playing pick up basketball with me and the rest of my boys and all of a sudden step onto the court with um, with the big boys, they wouldn't have the confidence. But yet we look at somebody like Stephen Curry, who didn't go to a big time basketball college. And yet even in his college days, he stepped onto the court with a certain kind of confidence that carried his team far into the um, March Madness tournament. So where does that come from? And in my opinion, that comes from. Even when you're not in the limelight, being so prepared that that you know that you can handle yourself when you go out there against the best of the best. All right. So I just want you to think about that when it, when it comes to your job. Think about your job. What are the different tasks on your job? You've gotten into a new job, or you are still on you know the current job that you you've had for quite some time, but you feel like um, you still have some areas where you feel like you're not as confident as you would like to be, or you're not confident in your, in, in whether or not you'll hold on to your job because you think, see things getting further and further ahead. My question to you is what are the small things that you can be doing? What are the tasks that you need to begin mastering without worrying about whether anybody's watching, but what do you need to master so that when you're called on, you can confidently spew the answer out. You can confidently solve the problem that the challenge that your job is having. Or uh, for those of you who are on a sports team, what 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 skills can you work on so that when you're called up, when they call your number, you're confident to you're confidently prepared for that task. What um, you know, uh, if you are an entrepreneur, have you solved the particular problem over and over and over again that you're confident that when it comes up again, like you'll be able to handle it? Maybe you're a counselor 
and uh, maybe you've been sketchy when trying to counsel certain people in certain areas because you really haven't studied up on an area. What if you dived so deep into that area um, and, and mastered it so that next time when eventually when a major issue arises and it has to do with that thing, you'll be prepared for it, all right? So and what I'm saying, and I want to sum it up by saying this, confidence comes from mastering the subject matter or mastering the task or the skill um, that you need to master in order to get the job done, all right? Mastering the skill that you need to master in order to get the job done, all right? So I, I want you all to be able to go forward and, and be in confident um, as we end, go throughout the rest of 2017. And remember, average is failure. So it, it's hard for you to to, 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 to escape being average and to go forth with dynamite power um, if you're not confident, right? Um, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to be explosive and to be powerful when you're not confident, right? We all know when we see shy and timid people, it's hard for them to be, it's hard for them to be explosive and to be powerful in things that they do because they shy away from things, right? And we don't want that to be us. We want to have that, that explosive power. And one of the things that we're going to need to do that is to be confident and we become confident by mastering the task and mastering problem solving in the area that we operate in. All right. Well, that's enough for me. Average is failure, y'all. This is born. I hope that this has been helpful for you. See you on the next episode. Peace.